So we are here for, with uh, James Nelly from Fanwatch Adoge and thank you for accepting us. Mm -hmm. uh, this will be your second film for with Fanwatch in sec second appearance yeah. and it, it's a great feeling, it must be a great feeling. So how do you feel after last year's final four, after being the reigning champs and do you still feel that excitement? You know, I feel, I, I feel like, I feel excitement but you know, we have to forget about that because that was last year. You know, and this is this year, you know, a whole different team um, with the same goal, of course. But um, I just feel I, I feel excited and, you know, I'm proud of this team for, you know, making it here. Uh, that was one of our goals at the beginning of the season, you know, make it to the Final Four and also win it, you know. So I'm happy about that. But, you know, we still have a lot of work to do. Okay. And, you know, you're dream champs and all teams played with extra motivation against you. So was it harder than uh, getting the championship or, you know, which one is harder, getting the championship or defending it? Um, well, well, we, we haven't, uh, we haven't started defending yet. So, but I feel like uh, this year, you know, a lot of teams were gunning for us. No, last year as well. Um, it wasn't easy last year. Um, I, I feel like it's kind of the same, you know, the same, you know, you know, everybody's gunning for us, you know, we're one of the top teams in Europe, so that's how it's going to be. And like you said, you're one of the top teams in the Europe, and there are three other top teams as well, the Jalgiris, Seska, Real Madrid, and your first opponent is Jalgiris in the final four, so they've been playing really great lately, so what do you think about their performance in the whole year? Um... They've been playing great lately, you know, uh, one of the, they're one of the, you know, surprising teams from this year, that, that, that's what everybody says, um, but, you know, I, I feel like they have a good team, you know, we respect them, and, uh, you know, it's gonna, they're a tough team, you know, tough to play against, they won here in, uh, in our gym, so, you know, we can't take them lightly at all, you have to respect every opponent. Yeah, and you know, Fenerbahce fans have been supporting you all the year, and they're expected expected to be in the uh, stands. They're ex expected to dominate the stands at in Belgrade as well. So, do you have a message to them, or uh, what do you, want you know, to say? We, I feel like we have you know some of the best fans in Europe, if not the best. Uh, they've been supporting us all year. You know, they're great. You know, we we really you know feel them on the court. You know, when they're loud, they're backing us, you know, and uh, it gives us extra motivation. Yeah, and uh, this is your second season with Jaco brother, which as well. So what is the most important thing that you've learned from him? As a player, as a person, or, you know, as a human being? Uh, you just got to be confident in yourself. That's one of the top things I learned from him. Just be confident in what you do mm -hmm. and just go out there and do it. We can see it your, from your performance as well. I mean, last year you've been shooting with a, a percentage of forty-five percent points, one percent, and which was which was a really great uh, accuracy rate. And this year, even you, you improved it, and you're shooting with uh, fifty-six points, one percent. So, what do you think about this rise? How how it happened? Um, to me, I don't feel like it was a rise. The big rise. I feel like I can always do this. It's just about opportunity. Last mm -hmm. year I wasn't, you know, I didn't have the same opportunities I had this year. Mm -hmm. You know, to really, you know, from playing time to you know, to getting sh different shots and rhythm and offense. So it's all about opportunity. You know, it's not like I couldn't play, I couldn't shoot before. You know, I could, I feel like I could always do this. Yeah, and we're coming to another point with this thing and. Your team has a really deep ro rotation, especially this year. Mm -hmm. So, how do you manage to keep your hands hot even in this kind of a rotation? It's really deep. Maybe one of the deepest rotations in Europe. Uh, and you have great guys. You gotta stay ready so you ain't gotta get ready. Okay.